the club himself has been given him credit for this. So he is uh, probably the greatest football manager he has ever met. Welcome back, viewers and subs, to Wizards of Sports. I'm your host, Sports is Greg, and today's video will be discussing the potential hiring of Ralph Ratnick, the godfather of the Gang Gang Press, also known as Counter Press in football. Yes, um, surprisingly, he is the inventor of this kind of football and not Jürgen Klopp as most of us fans are led to believe. Jürgen Klopp himself has been given him credit for this. So he is uh, probably the greatest football manager he has ever met. Anyways, um, most of you guys already know, about 24 hours ago, news broke that Ralf Ragnick has had um, personal terms agreed with Manchester United. Now, supposedly there's a rumor out that um, Roman Abramovich of Chelsea has phoned in his fellow Russian compatriot at Lokomotiv and asked him not to sign off on this potential deal. As I said, it's a rumor. I'm not sure how true this is. This manager could bring Man U to title contenders with the current squad that they have with him at the helm um, I'm hoping it's just uh, interim as they have stated he will be interim until the end of the season you know hopefully they're not smart you know football people and just sign him for an uh, interim if the deal goes through but a little more about Ragnik which is why I decided to do this video he was mainly influenced by Arrigo Sashi this was the great Italian coach back in, uh, I think it was the 80s. You know, he kind of revolutionized the way how the Italians played. They played with a lot more flair under his um, coaching than they do now or they did before him. So that's one of his main influencers. Now, he also liked um, the way he, AC Milan played in the early 90s and what he took from that he brought to Germany and tried to change the German tactics and formation. Before Ramnik um, influence in German football, they mainly played a 3-5-2 system, which they had uh, three center backs, two man markers and a sweeper, two full backs, and in the midfield they would have like two defensive midfielders. So it was a really stagnant style of football. He changed that and brought in a 4-2-3 or 4-2-3-1 system. He introduced that to German football. And it took a while for them to pay attention, you know, and start adapting to it. But through persistence, he was able to win over a lot of fans and a lot of coaches. And speaking of coaches, um, like I said, he has his influence on quite a few of them. Jurgen Klopp, he didn't mentor him, but you know, he has his influence on Klopp, he has his influence on Thomas Tuchel, coaches like Julian Nagelsmann, Ralf Hasenhalt, and um, Jesse Marsh, who's now at Red Bulls, all worked under his system, either at Red Bull Leipzig or at Hoffenheim or at Red Bull Salzburg, those coaches all worked with him. And now, uh, how he influenced Klopp was, um, so in early 2000, I think about 2004, he got the job at Hoffenheim. They were in the German third division then. He got them promoted to Bundesliga within a span of three years. So each year he brought them up a division. And in their first season in the Bundesliga, they came up against a pretty good um, Dortmund team coached by then Jürgen Klopp. Now they run over Dortmund 4 1 on that day, could have been more. But after that game ended, Klopp looked at their style of play and said, This is how I want Dortmund to play. And it took him a couple of years to master it, but he was able to get Dortmund to play that style of football and perfection it. And today we see where he has moved on to Liverpool and he has them playing 
gang impressed and they are one of the most impressive of the athletes. So yes, um, Ralph Ragnick is the one who introduced that style of play to the German Bundesliga and to European clubs. Um, also, there is a lot of players around right now that has benefited from his tutelage, from his days at Salzburg right through to Leipzig uh, a couple of years ago when he finally left. Um, players like Timo Werner, Nabi Keita, and I'm talking about a team at, um, at Red Bull, you know, um, Kimmich, Sadio Mane, um, Marcel Sabitzer, who is now at um, Bayern, you know, all those players are players that played under his system or played for coaches that he mentored. And you can see from the way their careers has improved the factor the positive impact that he has had on them. So fans out there that are not Man U fans, this would be a time to pay attention to them. With the squad that Man United have right now, and with a coach like this, I guarantee you, even with the season almost to the halfway point already, they can still challenge for this title. If this coach is given the reins, given the freedom to do what he wants to do. Because there's, there's quite a few things that, you know, he does differently from other coaches. And he asks for this before he walks through that door. Um, in 2020, he was supposed to take over AC Milan job. Because of his demands, they weren't able to come to an agreement. So he walked away from that potential job. You know, but he is like, in terms of Godfather coaches, he's like how Bielsa is to a lot of South American coaches, or even how um, Arsene Wenger came to the Premier League in 96, 97 and changed a lot of things. This is how this is the impact that Ralph Ragnick has on German football, you know. So it will be interesting to see if Manu is able to pull off this deal and go through with it. What leverage they're going to give him as a coach because i mean i assume as a interim coach you know the demands that you would have wanted as a permanent as a coach on a permanent basis you know it might be a little bit less but it would be interesting to see what the what the leverage that he gets and um, how much power he has at man united if he's eventually appointed as a coach also um as I spoke of players that he has influenced earlier, one player that would probably impact or help in a more positive way than anyone else, or one player who stands to benefit a lot from this is Jadon Sancho. Because he's coming from a dark night system, which was built by Klopp, which, as I said before, you know, learned his, um, who, I said, who, as I said before, learned his system from Ragnik. You know, Sancho, so far at Man United, hasn't been able to express himself like he did in the Bundesliga. You know, so coming to a team like Man U, if they're gonna adapt to this kind of, this kind of person, which is not gonna be easy, especially with um their not all of their front line is as mobile. No shots at Cristiano Ronaldo, he's still one of the greatest to ever do it. But with his age and body, he's not gonna be able to keep up with this kind of person. I think, I'm not 100% certain, but I think Ragnik um, requirements in his gang gang press, when you lose the ball, you have, I think, like 9 or 10 seconds to win it back. That's how much physical demand is put on his players. So someone like CR, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep up with that, but, you know, he's a very good coach, a great coach as a matter of fact, so he'll be able to take things like that into consideration and work his way around it. Now, as far as the midfielders and the defense line, are they going to be able to keep up with that style of play? Because when you're playing at high press, your defense line is playing higher up the field. Now, we know Maguire, who is their leader right there, is not the quickest of defenders, so someone like him, that might impact in a negative way. But there will be more positives than negatives with his style of coaching and he, if he gets a job at Man U. So that's something to look forward to. Look out forward in the next um, couple of days. 
if this deal is gonna get done, it should be done. He should be in charge of Man United, not their game over the weekend against Chelsea, but their home game next week against Arsenal. So what a welcome that will be for him at home versus one of Man U's most hated rivals over the years. Anyways, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, have a great one. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.